is Andrew Tate evil? <laughs> uh, Andrew Tate's a British American kickboxer and he's a famous influencer. He's been banned from a lot of social media sites for making misogynistic remarks. Uh, he has interestingly now converted to Islam and he lives in Dubai. Why would he do that? I don't know. Uh, he seems especially important to 12 to 14 year old boys. He's clearly very smart, he's charismatic, and his outspoken uh, demeanor obviously enrages a lot of people, while others, especially free speech advocates, are enthusiastic supporters. So I examine uh, both views of this uh, fascinating and very controversial man. First of all, uh, let's uh, talk about those who say, uh, yes, he is evil, awful person. Well, first of all, he ascribes all poverty to laziness, arrogance, and stupidity. Well, that's a pretty hard judgment on a lot of people, uh, people who have had a hard time and, and uh, haven't had all the advantages. And generalizations of that extreme sort are often the technique of demagogues. So that's really an indication of evil. Uh, Andrew says that Black Lives Matter is a phony Marxist organization. Again, that dismisses a lot of legitimate grievance from the black community, especially against the police. He's openly skeptical about the George Floyd incident, and he even questions who is to blame for that uh, awful business of that man getting killed by a policeman. Biggest and most discussed issue with him is extreme misogyny. He evinces dislike and even contempt for women. He may even be mixed up about his own uh, sexual preferences. Uh, his views have been condemned by domestic abuse charities. And I must say, he seems capable of rad radicalizing uh, men and boys to cause harm to women. He says the UK and London are awful places. You, you shouldn't live there, <laughs> even though he's part British. That's inaccurate and irresponsible. That, that's what evil people do to knock down their own country. He's an awful person. Okay, well, now what about his supporters, those who say, no, he isn't evil. Actually, he's a pretty constructive, interesting character. First of all, they argue, most of all, he's positive. He's against negativity. And in that respect, he's a, a force for good mental health. Uh, he is a hugely talented man. Uh, he's a chess genius. Uh, he's a many times kickboxing champion. He's an astute thinker, very articulate man, multiple skills of a high order. If you've ever heard him interviewed, you realize how clever he is. He exposes the self-indulgence of therapy. He despises weakness and dependency on therapy as an alternative to facing up to problems and simply getting on with it. That's another manifestation of his positivity. That's a good thing. Uh, Andrew sees through the phony race arguments uh, from Meghan, the Duchess of Sussex. Uh, to him, uh, she's not even black. Uh, outing her lies is a constructive act. He says he could tell uh, if she's black or not if she cooked some chicken for him because only black people know how to cook chicken. <laughs> uh, he believes in God, and God requires virtue and a decent uh, value system. So that's a point in his favor as well. In short, his enemies hate Tate because of, as one blogger very colorfully put it, because of the programming that comes from the pussification of a generation. <laughs> take that. <laughs> okay, what's my take on Andrew Tate? Well, it's mixed. Um, on the one hand, I admire his positivity. He's a half-full guy. He's not a moaner or a victim. Uh, that, to me, is important. Also, a man of multiple competences. Kickboxing and chess, what a combination. Well, I, I must say, I admire that. But his aggressive positivity, I'm afraid, manifests itself as cruelty and offers no room for compassion, really. And his apparent disregard and even contempt for women, probably goes back to early childhood experiences, is increasingly inappropriate and unacceptable in this day and age. And, for that reason, I must uh, reluctantly judge him to be evil. Phew! Uh, well, <laughs> I don't know whether you're going to like that or not. Some will, some won't. In any case, I've got a couple of other 
videos on a kind of a similar vein that you might like to have a look at. And in any case, uh, subscribe, please, and I'll see you at the next one. Bye-bye.